so you'll know first. This is First Alert Weather. All right, beautiful day today, but we know some changes are coming. You kind of alluded to that. Yes. It's going to get foggy. It's going to get a little foggy, mm -hmm. mainly east of the metro. Okay. Then we have some rain to talk about next week. I know we were talking about some other stuff. No, uh, next week. <laughs> you were, you winter were, you was the key winter word. Winter weather. Winter. You know, it's that time of year when snow is a possibility, and we're going to see that chance next week. It doesn't look like it's going to stick for us. So if you're worried about that, you don't need to worry about it. But just want to get you that first alert. You might see a few snow showers here and there by the middle of next week. And I'll show you uh, what that timeline looks like here in just a moment. For now, though, the next thing coming will be some fog tomorrow morning, morning mainly east of the metro. So in the metro area, we'll likely wake up to sunshine. But if you live a little closer to like Chillicothe or Carrollton or Sedalia, you might have some fog to get your Friday started. Then heading into early next week, a strong storm system moves in and that could bring us some heavy rain. In fact, check out some of the rain potential numbers here. One to two inches widespread. Now there's still some time, a little wiggle room. This storm could maybe jog a little farther west, maybe slightly farther east. We'll get rain out of it and it's looking likely we'll see at least an inch of rain. Some spots again could see upwards of two inches of rain, so a decent soaker potentially for Monday. Currently, though, sunshine, it's a great day to be out in the plaza. 57, that's our current temperature, so maybe a light jacket if you're heading out now. If you'll be out through the evening, you'll definitely need the jacket. 46 degrees, clear and cool. Mid-30s for tonight, so warm coat weather tonight heading into Friday morning. And then tomorrow, sunny and mild, another beautiful day. Lower 60s, just a touch warmer than today. Again, we'll be monitoring for that fog in the morning, mainly east of the metro before 9 a.m. After that, just a sunny and great day. Lower 60s for the afternoon. Clouds will start to increase late day Saturday. It's a windy day. Middle 60s for our highs, about 10 degrees above normal. Low 60s on Sunday. A few showers might drift in, so no, there might be some rain around. Sunday's not a washout day. Monday, could be a washout day, so that's our next weather impact. Widespread rain is looking likely. Those rain totals, I showed you those a moment ago, one to two inches. And as far as severe weather, we're just not going to have that instability for severe weather to be likely. Some good news there. We will let you know if that changes, but we're not concerned about that. Tuesday is trending drier now, 54 for a high, and then rain and snow showers are possible Wednesday and Thursday. Our highs will be in the low to mid 40s. So again, we're not worried about any sort of accumulation. But it's just something you'll notice. The main thing is going to be colder. Highs will be in the lower 40s. Lows dip down to 30. Potentially a hard freeze heading into next weekend. Here's that timeline for that next storm system that rolls in on Monday. So early Monday morning, here comes that storm system lifting out of the southwest. Potentially a rainy Monday morning commute. Midday Monday, still dealing with rain. Then some of those heavier showers come rolling in Monday evening before that system starts to lift off to the north Monday night, but it kind of hangs out and brings us those chances of rain and snow showers Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you, Neville.